Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Etro over here. Now we're gonna go into the perks that I use for World Boss One, and let's just go ahead and dive into this video. Thank you guys for inquiring. Now I know there was a lot of delay within the perks that you guys were asking for Theo, especially in the arenas. So let's go ahead. Um, inner Peace for Kaula, Thunderbolt because the Amplify the twenty five percent increased magic damage now i want more attack boost on his um, attack speed boost for everyone and t5 light is optional i mean you could go with dark to have like more stuns and then even with the, the chain lightning because that three second stun allows for more cc now this is his stat sheet again him being a healer not so much good on the dps but as long as the crit is there um, the crit damage is there, the attack is there. I don't have his unique, but this passes and it's viable. So next we have Epis. Okay, looking at Epis, I have her at 4 star with 1 mana on her unique. Now as far as her perks go, I want to use Absorbing Blow because if there's one enemy, obviously you want more damage, right? And again with Nightmare, um, makes sense to to use that skill one after um, she cast that skill. Epis, Dark, and Light is really good. So I would recommend having both of that perk. And as far as Transcendence one, HP and Attack. Her, you, um, her artifact that I use, I do have one, a zero star blessing of Earth. And as far as a ring, I don't use an earring. I have to use an earring for her. This is her stat sheet. Crit damage is really high, her attack speed. Uh, a bit lacking there, um, but as long as you have the enchant option for it from the um, ancient runes that you get from the hard raid, then um, that could fix that, right? So standard build, attack, attack, speed, crit, crit, damage, right? Okay, and um, I use, I actually use a two-part manticore set for her just because it deals 12 percent more damage on bosses so i do have attack attack speed crit crit damage on both of these um on this set okay and i use the other set for um a black dragon set just so that she gains more mana now i wouldn't recommend going um all four parts set because it just gimps your mana i find that having a two set is much better okay Luis Luisia's um transcendent perks t5 dark uh blood dominator blood orb because again more amplify attack for everyone when you use moral rise and attack and hp as far as her armor goes i'm using attack speed attack crit, crit damage on her armor and the rest is like penetration so as you can see 37 percent on her penetration now moving on to annette Annette, um, her artifact, I usually go with the Angry Pumpkin as far as Transcendence goes. She's a big amplifier. Um, T5 Dark, okay, a self-explanatory. Her, um, that was fixed now. So she can amplify by 100%. The process of elimination has been fixed. So you could use that perk now. Okay, with the amplify and then um, emergency treatment you could either use special bullet instead but I like having um, a higher charge a faster charge this is her stat sheet lacking on crit but then again you actually just use her for her s2 and then her amplifying so there we go I mean she's really really amazing um, in world boss one Moving on, we'll do Theo last, Mediana. Um, this is her PvP perks, so please disregard that. I mean, I do use an earring for her because it's high, um, because the higher attack that she has, the person that she's buffing um, gets a higher attack as well. So T5 Dark, Medi um, T5 Dark, and then um, Strengthening Potion, I want a higher attack on who's being buffed healing salve 10 percent more attack every time i use that so that's a perk i like to use i use crit chance because cal is using the heal and then hp and then attack so that's the perk that i use for mediana to buff 
Theo sometimes Epis gets it because she's she has a really high attack. Um, this is her stat sheet again. Crit is really high. Crit damage. Um, I use three attacks on her unique. I I feel that she doesn't really need mana, uh, a mana rune, um, because she generates mana pretty fast especially in world boss one now sonia i do have her unique at three stars her build is attack crit crit damage standard dps build um this is her perks t5 both light and dark just to gain a lot of sh um the shock faster um power of lightning to increase her attack by 40 percent and then what else are we working here with um at an extra two seconds on the shock and then hp and attack um, i built her as a dps -er. now this stat sheet does not represent her actual damage build because i do have some tank uh items that she's using on her equipment now attack full attack she doesn't need mana because she generates mana a lot especially if she has a full dragon set jane i have experience fighter and h um hp for everyone funeral rights to increase the amplify for the rest of the team she gets about 70 percent in total um when you add her skill to skill one and experience fighter right so i'm just using her as a tank and as an amplifier i did not build her as a dps but you can go in that direction that in that trajectory if you wanted to um again tanky items pumpkin artifact this is her stat sheet and last but not least let's go with theo five star went with all attack now you go with one mana and two attacks and this is not this is his pvp equipment so i use a manticore set um two parts manticore set and then two parts black dragon now with the manticore set attack speed attack crit crit damage we have the enchant option there um so standard dps build right and he gains mana from his black dragon set his two-part black dragon set if you go with full um manticore set he's not going to generate f uh, mana fast enough i do have a three star blessing of earth here and as far as his earring goes this is his pvp earring where is his attack earring who has it um one sec let me just scroll through and look for it real quick um no no not you not you not mm, mediana mediana has i think mediana has it okay there we go so this is the earring that i use for theo okay and then i use attack speed on his orb okay there we go so this is this this equipment that i use and this is his stat sheet crit chance you don't really need a lot of because if you look at his skill one skill uh three and his four jane it has 25 percent built in crit crit damage is pretty high attack speed is pretty high um mana recovery could use work but then again like i said if you are using two part black dragon set then it's okay theo light and dark that's important to have you have to have dark okay attack and hp um this is my pvp build if you're interested warlike um tactical foresight um you have his light but don't go with dark if you are going with the pvp um this is the perks that i use and okay so back to the world boss one i use theo light i use uh dark so once you get full mana right um, you get that 50% increase for Jane um, and God of Lightning. You have to have those two. I find it better than um, having the crit crit damage uh, when you use for Jane, the for Jane perk, right? Like this one, 40%. It's better than having opportune strike. So transcendence one's perk, sorry. Transcendence one perk is the HP and attack, right? So this is the build that I use. Um, thank you guys once again for inquiring. And sorry for the delay, and um, that's all. Peace.